All right, here's yet another Ubuntu distribution that has just released, and this one touts the XFCE desktop. We are looking at Zubuntu 1310 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. I just booted this desktop and I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal. So let's go ahead and do that now. That's in accessories here under terminal emulator. And I'm going to type in top, T-O-P. And this uses 508 megs of RAM. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Seems like my desktop uses less memory when I have it first booted up, but okay, that's cool. Okay, before we go into any particulars on this distribution, I'd like to uh, cover uh, some of the changes uh, that have taken place. XCFCE4 settings was updated, bringing a new dialog to set up multiple displays, among others. Apt Offline is now installed by default along with instructions on using it in the Zubuntu documentation. This tool allows for easier access to package archives in bandwidth constrained conditions, as well as when a computer lacks and always on to the internet connection. GTK Theme Config, a tool that allows changing the theme colors, was added by default. You know, I've installed that on every uh, XFCE desktop, and I could never get it to work. And if any of you guys can figure it out, and I even tried it on this, and I couldn't get it to work. No. Oh. Well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. All right, and then uh, artwork updates. New folder icons inherited from the elementary icon theme. Copycat! Updated light DM greeter, new wallpaper with updated GTK themes, which should work with both GTK 3.8 and 3.10. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> Kids, I've been up all night building Gen 2. I haven't had any sleep. I'm wired on coffee. I don't know where I get my energy from, but you guys are catching me in rare form today. Um. Okay, here it is. Uh, I've already explained what the XFCE desktop is all about. You guys have seen all my videos a dozen times, so you know what all this stuff up here is, and you know what these icons do. So let me just tell you what you get with this thing, uh, so I can get back to compiling Gen 2. Ugh. Do you guys really want to see a Gen 2 video from me? Are you nuts? Huh. Okay, whoever uh, put this distribution together must have had a hand in uh, the uh, Ubuntu Studio because all the settings is also in the settings manager on this one as well, which I think is really neat. Now, uh, the only difference is in this one, uh, I had to install additional software in order to get the guest conditions to install because this was a naughty distro. It did not want guest additions. I figured, well, the additional drivers tool will definitely pull them down and force them to install. Because uh, when I tried to uh, install them using the traditional method, this thing wouldn't even boot properly. It would just freeze. And I was like, Arr. If you could just see the smoke roll pu pouring out of my ears at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. In accessories. A uh, few applications you might find useful. An archive manager, calculator, catfish file search, character map, file manager, mouse pad, notes on board, which is a keyboard. So, you know, when you're laying in bed or something like that, you just got your mouse, you know, you don't want to type, you know, you just use your mouse and type with the mouse, huh? <laughs> I know, I've done that a few times. Orage, Global Time, Screenshot, Terminal, Emulator, and XF Burn. In games, you get Minesweeper, my favorite game, and Sudoku. Have no clue. Somebody tried to explain it to me uh, in one of the comments on the Ubuntu video, and it just went in, uh, yeah, one uh, 
Went in one eye and out the other. Yeah, that's how it went. Uh, graphics. You get a document viewer. You get the GIMP. G-Thumb, Ristretto image viewer, and simple scan. In the internet, you get Firefox. You get Pigeon, Thunderbird, Mail, and Transmission. It's also XChat IRC. Uh, is that multi-fuel injection and a five-speed transmission, I wonder? Who knows? All right, you get the music browser. Yeah, that's what they call it. Never, never seen it before though. A parole music player, pulse audio volume control, and XF burn. Parole was that made by prisoners? All right, Office. You get Abbey Word, dictionary, a document viewer, can you Merrick, Orange Calendar, Orange Global Time. And system, you get gigolo. I'm just a gigolo. And everywhere I go. I know, I shouldn't quit my day job, right? You get Nepomot. Let me say that again. You get Nepomot Cleaner. And, of course, the task manager. You get the Ubuntu Software Center. Help the Ubuntu website. Contribute to Ubuntu. About XFCE. Log out. Let's have a look here at uh, something. Let's go home. And this supports GTK3 theming. So, yes, the icon set does look rather nice. I like that theme uh, pretty well. Not only that, though, when you go into your settings here, they've got some other little uh, themes in this as well. So you can change its look. But because this supports the latest GTK3 uh, themes, you can go on... Um, DebianTart, uh, GnomeLook.org. You can download all kinds of cool themes for this. So you can really uh, do a lot and make it your own. Uh, so all in all, it's looking very good. Um, personally, my favorite XFCE distro right now that's running is Linux Lite. And of course, well, I'm running Manharo as well, and that's XFCE as well. Uh, but between those two, those are the best, uh, with, uh, with Linux Lite being the best for beginners and, uh, Manharo being, uh, my favorite XFCE desktop for intermediates. But this is okay in its own right. If you want to try it, definitely download it and check it out. It's not that big in file size. It's less than a gig. And, uh, it should run on, um, on, well, we saw how much memory that that this had so you know you're going to need at least a gig of ram on your computer you may want to try something lighter if you're looking to install this on uh if you're looking to install something on an older computer you have something old and outdated you know you may want to uh, check into uh some of the other distributions uh, that are a little bit lighter weight like watt os okay well that's my take on zubuntu i'm out mm -hmm.